on our watch. It won't happen. We won't roll back our rights. You will not oppress us, and we will stand up. Exceeded my wildest imagination. It's such a beautiful thing to see us all coming together and remembering that we, um, we're always stronger together. That was, of course, Janelle Monet, who was one of the uh, uh, singers participating in the Women's March on Washington on Saturday. Now, folks, let me contrast uh, this, okay? So, uh, so check this out. So I'm going to come back with the highlights in a second. Uh, but uh, you, so you saw the video. Massive, massive numbers there. Uh, Katie Turr of uh, NBC uh, posted this on her Twitter feed. Uh, this was the parade route uh, on Friday, okay? Y'all watch this. Now, check this out. This is the parade route on Friday. Uh, don't laugh. Um, empty. Wow, sir. Empty. Let's go a little further. A uh, few people. Uh, let's go a little further. Empty. And empty. Wow. And empty. And I mean, there are photos of uh, Vice President Mike Pence and his wife walking, waving, to nobody. To nobody. waving to nobody. <laughs> uh, empty. Empty. Now, here's some of the highlights of the Women's March. You cannot say that was empty. We represent the powerful forces of change. I am here to stand in solidarity with all of the women fighting for justice, social justice, and change. Not backing down! I'm here in solidarity with those women to defend marginalized voices and defend women's rights on, on, on this day and really every day forward. It was so important for me personally as a black woman to make sure that there was a representation and the awareness of the intersectionality of this march. A giant has awoken, and we're not having it. We will not go back. We're letting the Trump administration know very clearly who we are and what we stand for. Um, Americans have to decide, are we going to take this? Because you get the government you, 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 you're willing to accept, or are we going to fight against it? The resistance effort is not only about a particular group, but it's more of an intersectional response, and that's all of our voices. I think this is a very important day for women, and more than just women, it's an important day for all Americans. Black women have always been the forefront on any cultural shift and movement in the country anyway. So we're not, this is not new to us. We've always been marching. We marched in the civil rights movement. So this is just an extension of what our legacy and our history has already trained and taught us to do. The fight didn't start with Obama and it ain't gonna stop with Obama. This is a fight, it's a 400 year fight for freedom, justice, and equality. People love this country, and they're not willing to give up on it. And they want to make sure that their values get represented at every level. It says to the three or four senators who are wavering that, uh, that the price to be paid for ignoring these many people and voting against their interests. Put your pride aside and stand up for the most marginalized people in this society. Because if you stand for them, you stand Once people rise, you can't put them back. So you can't get black people rights and Muslim people rights and, and LGBTQ people rights and disabled people rights and then say, nah, right? Because we're going to come back, we're going to clap back. And that's, this is a huge clap back. <laughs> All right, and of course, Donald Trump had to weigh in on the marches. He tweeted on Sunday, quote, peaceful protests are a hallmark of our democracy. Even if I don't always agree, I recognize the rights of a people to express their views. Of course, big contrast from uh, the anger spouted uh, on um, a Saturday. Uh, Janae, we talked about this whole the idea of the what's next. And, that's always, and I always make this point. Uh, Dr. King always said, Look, the march is one thing. What you do after Absolutely, the march yes. is what's critically important. Yes. It, 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 there's no finer point to be made. I mean, we can march and we can stand outside, but if we do nothing after, then all we had was a moment. We had a huge historic moment, and I've never wanted to see that happen. All of us as organizers have been very clear about not wanting that to happen. That but, but, but as organizers, y'all also have seen oh, over y'all careers other marches <laughs> that frankly were, a I'll say it, yes. a waste of time where people came out, had an event, and then was like, okay, so what, what, what are we going to do You're with absolutely what took right. place? You're absolutely right. Well, I think there's a difference between what happened Saturday and marching because we think that that is, you know, the end-all, be-all to our activism. Um, 
as was mentioned, Monique mentioned, we're doing a postcard project because it is important. If the if the people who are elected will not take your call, we will we will mail you something. And it says Women's March right on the front. I wish I had the postcard with me to let you know we stood out here, not just here in Washington D.C., but whatever city people are in, and we are not going to let you ignore us. We are going to be heard. We are going to make our presence known, our voices known, and we're going to keep fighting for progress. Robert Nation of Islam, of course, organized the Million Man March, uh, and uh, same, you know, same thing. That when you talk about the what's next, that's always critically important. That, that's true. In the build-up to the Million Man March, we reached out to all of our traditional civil rights leaders and those who knew the what next, and they didn't show up to the last minute because they were afraid to stand with Minister Farrakhan until it was apparent that a million-plus black men were going to be on that mall. So when we came from that, we then, going into the Million Family March in 2000, had a national agenda that was drawn from the Congressional Black Caucus, Latino Caucus. It's very important, as Minister Farrakhan teaches, that the Nation, a uh, nation can rise no higher than its woman. So I, I appeal to the women that are there, particularly the women of color. You march there together, but our sisters, black women and women of color, and indigenous women, are marching back to a different reality oh, in terms of life expectancy, health care, uh, justice, e income, and these things. So keep your, your your pedal to the metal and make sure that these sisters get justice Absolutely. too. Right, and that means that people who are already in leadership who know how to organize need to speak up. I responded to a few people who are well-known organizers who were saying things like marching is good, organizing is better. And mm -hmm. I just said, okay, so these women are wide open mm -hmm. and excited and full of energy. Tell them what to do next. Absolutely. Don't just criticize and say that they need to organize. These are people, there were millions of people who had never participated Absolutely. in a march and, before and, and, that and, and, day. And, and that is the point of the march. The yes. point of the march is to capture somebody's attention who had never done this before. Now all of a sudden you pull them in and now it's, now this is what we need you to do next. Uh, Janae, then Eugene. Well, yeah, I think that what you just said about having the, the focus be on women of color is part of, of what we're talking about. Having, um, and as Karma Perez said yesterday, we had, we had a, a little uh, gathering of our group, and she said, you know, to have women of color be centered in the feminist movement is something that is un has never been done in, this, in the history of the feminist movement. So to have women of color be represented it's, it's, a, it's a thing that we have to, to look at and honor as a, a historic moment, but we can't let it end there. We have to make sure that as white women are, have been in the feminist movement, that they understand the needs and the issues that black women have, have dealt with, that other women of color have dealt with and are continuing to deal with. And that's a huge part of what this process has been about. The New York Times did a huge story on the fact that we were having what they perceived to be um, issues over race. And what I said before, and I'll say again, is that the issues of race are inherently part of the fabric of this country. And in order for us to really move forward, we need to break down those barriers. We need to have those tough uh, conversations and discussions. And that's what part of this has been about. You know, I actually commend Janae and the other organizers on the work that they've done over the last weekend. Um, you know, this historic march, um, you know, literally, I think we may have seen the birth of the Tea Party and the left, and it kind of hurts me to say that. Um, oh, no, know, no, 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 no. Uh, you're going to feel that hurt. you going to feel that pain <laughs> um, a little more over the next but, four years. Oh, oh, so we'll, 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 see, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll you see better, what happens. You better go take some but, Vidal or something, or some Advil. But, but, or we've, some, seen, we've seen the birth of the Vidal. Yeah, I, I think, that's going to be a little less. I, think, I, you know, I, I think we've seen the birth of the Tea Party of the left. Um, in 09, you know, Tea Party, we held a rally out there at one point million people and uh, you know it's all what happened in 2010 um, you know my only suggestion would be to, to work with you know state local federal government where you can where we agree there are some things uh, where we Republicans and conservatives agree with some with you guys on, on particular issues and um, you know hold us accountable where we don't agree. Let, let me be go, bro, go ahead. This go. is not the this it's is not, not the birth of the Tea Party on the not. left. Uh, it is not. When the woman is the first teacher, the first nurse, when they this is a revolution of, that's going forward. It's not left, it's not right, it's going forward. This is the future. When women rise up 
and they begin to teach their babies about freedom, justice, and equality, this is about the future. And uh, we're, we're going to get ready to celebrate, Eugene, the 230th anniversary of the signing of the, dec uh, not the Declaration, but the Constitution of the United States on September 17th. We haven't received justice under this Constitution in 230 years. So if this doesn't work, ladies, we're putting forth a motion uh, for separation, and I'm here to second that motion on behalf of the Honorable Louis Farrakhan. We're either going to get wow. it right or we got to get up out of here. Well, let me tell you something. Let, there's let, no, let, there's let, no country let, greater than the United let, States let, of America. Let, 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 let me say this here. Uh, one, this ain't going to be the Tea Party of the left. No. Uh, because, yeah, there were people there who were also on the right. Uh, but let me also say this when it comes to uh, media out there. Uh, it's amazing to me uh, uh, these morning shows today, uh, why is it that they don't have these sisters on? Let me say that question. again. Let me Very say that again. Question. You had this massive march taking place. You had the leadership who can lay out the future. Folks are talking about it. And let me also be real clear. Uh, this show has had yeah. these sisters on, Absolutely. not just on this march, but before this march, yeah. last year, and the year before that, and the year before that. And so uh, we ain't Johnny come lately or <laughs> Janetta come lately uh, to this issue. We want to let y'all know. And we're, we're going to continue you amplifying those voices uh, because they matter. Kickstart your day at 7 and get the news you need from the perspective you want. News One Now with Roland Martin every weekday morning at 7 on TV One.